My name is Dr Ian Frame, I'm Director of Research here at Diabetes UK. The artificial pancreas is a nice bridge between existing treatments for type 1 diabetes and the eventual cure that we're all hoping to, to find and it will mean that the people uh, with diabetes will be able to look after themselves without having to take those daily injections to find out what their blood glucose levels are and then to inject the insulin. The, the issue with diabetes is not only having too little blood glucose but having too much. Having too much will bring about those devastating complications such as uh, blindness, heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, amputation even. And uh, by, by controlling your glucose better, it will stop those complications happening 10 to 20 years down the line. The other side of that is people can have hypoglycemia. And by having hypoglycemia, you can go into a coma, you can even die. So the artificial pancreas is allowing people to level out those peaks and troughs of glucose levels through the blood. And by doing that, you will then stop these either the devastating complications or the risk of death. So it's just by smoothing out the, the process, people will be able to manage the condition better. The artificial pancreas is made up of three separate components, and two of them, in fact, three of them already uh, used uh, routinely, and one of them is a glucose monitor, one's an insulin pump, and the third thing is a handheld computer. Um, and it's the handheld computer and the mathematical model that's been put into that that makes the difference because ordinarily the insulin um, pump and the glucose meter will not speak to each other. Dr. Roman Havorka's work has been to take a sort of mathematical formula that works out when that's saying what that concentration is, it tells the pump how much insulin to deliver and that's the clever bit because until now we haven't got those two bits of kit speaking to each other. What we have to remember about this is they are using small numbers of people but we like that cautious approach because by bit by bit they're adding to our knowledge by just using smaller numbers of people. Now what we do want to see is it being used on larger numbers of people and then taken out of the hospital in Cambridge and into the home environment where people would be sort of working this machinery on their own. Please join us in being the next best thing to a cure, not only in supporting Roman Havorka's artificial pancreas work, but also the other great research that we do for all types of diabetes and help improve the lives of people living with diabetes and those at high risk of diabetes, there are millions of them and we need vital research funds to keep that work going.